it's like the things the mobs not drop no no because I found that zombie flesh so they obviously still drop stuff when they die of natural causes don't know I'm just not having any luck with food right now I'm not finding pigs I'm not finding chickens I'm not finding red mushrooms for soup I haven't got enough string for, for a fishing line um, yeah. It's wrong. It's just wrong eating this stuff. And squids are just useless. But I'm finding lots of interesting new materials to play with. Do with some more logs, I suppose, if I'm gonna play around too much. So these iron ingots, yeah. They could make these furnaces just better. If I have to, like plate them in in metal in some way. I'm sure that they I could probably retain the heat a lot more, so if I sort of like encase them in metal like that, that would give me a much better kind of furnace. Yeah. Like that would give me a much better kind of furnace. Probably squeeze a little bit more use out of things now. Not sure what I'm going to do with the tin. Hmm. Wow. That, that is a, a bright bit of metal. Look at that. That's practically luminous. I suspect that this sticky resin could probably be processed in some way. Hmm. Well, at least that zombie flesh has kept me alive. It's just a shame I have no health. And literally, I don't want to slip off the wizard wall because that would be that would be even more embarrassing than the last time. See what we can Yeah, we can definitely let's let's put some charcoal in there and keep this going. So this is all very useful, but we need something it's very strange. It's almost like eh, very interesting material. <laughs> uh so I could probably um see I, I I'm thinking that there's energy in everything, right? Everything's basically made of energy. You know, you burn something, it produces energy, produces heat. And I'm thinking that you could probably harness this energy and create a whole new series of machines and... I don't know. Like this iron furnace, I imagine, imagine I wouldn't even need to, to put coal in it. It could power itself somehow. You know, I could maybe harness the, harness the very sun itself, which is basically fire. So, yes, yeah, so that would be... Interesting. At first, we need to stop the energy from escaping these this cable. Let's insulate it. Or do I need to use bars or something? Maybe if I completely surround it like so. There. Okay, so I can insulate this cable. That should prevent the energy from escaping. Hmm. I suspect that I'd need to get some redstone, because that's an inherently magical substance. 
and purify the iron a bit perhaps. I'm 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 getting getting ideas all the time getting these new ideas. Let's put all this stuff away. There's probably another way I can if I make the cable like that but and surround I haven't got enough rubber actually to do that. I'll probably make new materials out of these two as well in some way, but I'd have to find some way of mixing them. Let's plant some trees outside, shall we? And I need to start thinking about food again. They'll be fine. You can bunch the trees together very easily. Thing there. It'd be nice if I had some bone meal. Come on, skeletons. What's wrong with you all? I'm going to go and explore a little bit more. First thing I'm going to do is drop this furnace back. I've got the wheat and the furnace. I don't need all that charcoal or the gravel. Why have I even got gravel? I don't even. Why do I just chuck it away? It's not really that useful. And then again, you can get flint out of it, so I suppose that's at least somewhat useful. Take that with me. That can stay there. I've got enough torches, but I might as well keep hold of the charcoal anyway. And if I'm going to do things like that, let's keep hold of the sticks. Okay, wandering off when you've only got half a heart is probably not the best thing in the world. However... I do really, really need food. And I'm not going to get food by standing around doing nothing. Well, actually, I am. Because eventually the, the wheat will grow. But I'm not the sort of person just to stand around and wait for plants to grow. I want to go out there. You know, be proactive. I've got an investment. And then eventually that will pay off. And I'll start being able to eat bread forever. Um, but until then, I need to explore this incredibly sheep heavy world. It's like the only animal that spawns minus the aggressive ones is sheep. I haven't seen, apart from squid, I haven't seen any other land, I haven't seen any land animals at all, and no other peaceful animals other than squid. Got some red flowers. Out. More sheep! Heaven forbid that, that we would ever find anything other than sheep. Honestly. Copper can't hurt. The only problem is, is by being out and about, it is going to make me even hungrier. Looks like there's a load more rubber trees over there. And there's like a weird flat tree over there. Right. Wow, that is deep. It's deep, man. Well, I might as well get the flowers, I suppose. Oh, get it! <laughs> wow, my I, I'm 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 rusty with the old flower picking nonsense, aren't I? Ugh, bloody water! Come on, release me! Okay, I'm not going to go off and explore that other way too much. I've got my... Where the hell am I? I thought I was somewhere where I'm not. Okay, I'm going to head off this way. Revisit those rubber trees that I, um, that I found the first time around. And then very quickly, I've got clay here. I don't have a spade, and I really don't have the time to be faffing about like this. Nah, it's never stopped me before. Well, you never know, on the way back I might come across some skeletons that just happily just give me their bones in order to create fertiliser. That would be, um, that'd be big of them, wouldn't it? This is got 
nothing. Okay, I think perhaps it might be a better idea to um, to head out. Got this tree still alive somehow. It's just got that tiny little bit of leaf on the top. Okay, let's let's head back before I end up getting murdered. I suspect. Oh my God, there's massive. What is it with this area and slimes? There's a skeleton in the water. There's a slime with a baby slime. I can't run. Oh god. Leave me alone. Okay, pray. 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 Praying didn't work. I am not having any luck. <sighs> Food. Why? Why? When has food ever been this hard to get? Seriously. Never normally have this much problem. There's normally food everywhere. There's a zombie in my house. Did I not? Oh no, it probably just... Do they open doors now? There's nothing else in the house, but yeah. Sodding things. Go away, spider. Go away. Yes, you're faster than me. Just stop rubbing it in. God. Um. Here we go. Wow. Stop it. Stop hurting me. Okay, right. So, okay, calm. Calm down. Okay. Um, I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, oh my god, a bone. That's ridiculous. <laughs> After all this effort, finally, I've got some bone meal. Oh. Honestly, what, how, the dice must have been just loaded against me this time, I think. See you two. You stay. You stay in awkward places where you can't quite get to me. That's right. It's another slime. There's a massive slime over there. Oh, that might well have been the other massive slime that I tried to avoid. Oh, okay, there's a couple of skeletons by the house. If I can lure this one... Okay, here we go. Oh god, there's an enderman there. Okay, skeleton. It's got a bit of dirt in its hands. Oh, no, fighting in water's not a good idea. Okay. Got lucky again. Yes, I know there's a creeper there. Okay, that got lucky. My house didn't get blown up. Oh my god, did I briefly have... Oh my god. I've just only realised how little health I've got. Right. God. Why don't I get the stick out? It's because it's in slot one, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Right. 
Um, in fact, this is not 100% safe because theoretically mobs could spawn on the roof, which would make me sad. It would make me very, very sad. I just chuck one bit of charcoal in there. So 11 oak wood. Let's see how much of that gets cooked. We've got bone meal. We've got more bones, more bone meal. Okay, this is it. This is actually it. There we go. So, we now have... Do I have any more dirt? Okay, let's just swap this sand for this dirt. Oh, what the hell? That's sharpshooting for you. Look at that. That's madness. I'm getting sick of dying. I'm getting really, really sick of it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Stupid, stupid skeletons. And, and, and spraining ankles. These are all bad things. <sighs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all know you're a very good shot. How do you stop that? No! <laughs> no! I didn't want to die again! Wow, I, I don't think even in my season one I died so much. Oh my god, there's a, like a completely leather clad something or other. A leather clad. Look at that! That skeleton's completely clad in leather armour. I'm stuffed. No, no, come on. Here we go. Right. <sighs> Do you actually get the armor from them if you kill them? I didn't get any gold armor from the... Oh! Okay. Whose idea was it to put it on hard difficulty? What? Oh, you can't punch doors open. Okay, that confused me. And now I'm in a pit. Um, okay, this is getting disappointing. Okay, right, I didn't get my sword. They're all in there shooting each other. I've now got a spider on the roof. Um, I've got iron in the chest. Okay, let's get my other sword. Chuck all my goodies in the chest. Oh, for how many are there? <sighs> I'm, I'm starting to get disappointed by this whole thing. I mean, they're now in a pit with my goodies in with water. So, at this point, the fire's never going to kill them. They can't get out. We've got an arrow floating in the water. How is the arrow floating in the water? Oh, it's actually stuck in a lily pad. <laughs> cool. No, that's quite cool. I quite like that. Right. Okay, let's pick up this stuff. So this stuff, to me, looks very much... Like, it's probably going to despawn very soon. Okay. Everything in the pit. Oh, look at this. The whole thing's all messed up. Everything's messed up. Okay. Get the sword. Get the sword. Here we go. There we go. Okay. If I get it... Oh, God, there's another spider. Why is there always something ready to kill me? Uh, do, do, do. Come on. Oh, God. Not an enderman. No, you can go away as well. 
Oh, okay. I think I've got everything. Um, maybe. Ugh. It's um chaotic. That's what this is. Completely mind-numbingly chaotic. Hopefully, soon, I'll actually be able to do this without dying. Oh, there's some string over there. Yeah, you just stay in that pit. Oh, no, or, or not. I thought there might have been some string in there. Unfortunately not. Right, so, after that, drawn out nonsense. Oh, sudden end of my They're obviously not part of the same group that messed with me. Because it doesn't seem to be particularly bothered by me being here. Okay. Now let's I think that might be in the chest. It's actually quite convenient it being that close. See, I've got enough iron for, um... What you call it? A bucket. But at the moment, I'm not overly fussed. I'm going to get these to grow super quick. Ugh! Well, that was interesting. Oh, look how tiny that one is. It's because I did it too soon, wasn't it? Yeah, I need to make sure to clear the way before I do that. Because I've ended up with two really puny trees. They sort of grew into the space that I'd given them, and that space wasn't much. Okay, I'm going to hack them down now, then. Probably extract the resin from the wood itself, but I don't, know. I don't know. I'm not sure how I would do that yet. If I strip away, I know theoretically you think right. If a tree has no leaves, it's going to die. But trees, Minecraft trees, they're they're stubborn little things, aren't they? Really, they they don't want to die, um, and they refuse to die when you cut away everything the, the only thing that they have that produces food for them you can strip it all away and they like no can't kill me that easily I'm just gonna sit here and be, be alive instead just to spite you but of course this is a useful thing you can pack together trees that produce goodies. These are pretty damn tall to, to, to say. Damn tall. Okay, so we have two very tall trees with absolutely no leaves except very, on the very top and they haven't produced that much in the way of resin okay my next task okay I've got four saplings so let's feed that one that's become fairly tall that's got a load of free space above it that's become fairly tall there we go uh. It's a shame that I can't then, because the quickest way of getting rid of leaves is to kill the tree, but I do need the tree, so unfortunately it's a case of a manual job. Right, well I think that's probably it for this session. So, I'm going to leave it there, cut away all these leaves, um, get back inside and just make some bread. Oh, make some lovely, delicious bread. And, um, and that's pr going to be pretty much that. Why not? So until next time, I will bid you all farewell, and of course, cheerio.